Bonjour, today is vlog day 433. It's looking pretty gloomy out there. Not supposed to rain. Not supposed to rain. No, we'll see what happens. I'm going out to Versailles today. This we have not touched in a long time, and so there are two things I'm going to add to it today because we should be adding at least something to it. Doing pretty well on a couple of the things that are on there, but one of the things I have no control over whatsoever, one of the things I definitely do, thing I have control over would be running. I need to run more, so we'll put this under health, we can say. I want to get back into running three times a week, starting this next week would be great. My back is almost feeling good and my shin, we'll get there. Bike accidents kind of take it out of you a little bit. The other thing, I'm going to put, hit the 10,000 subscriber mark on YouTube under dreams because I have no control over that, obviously. I make a video every day, I try to make the best video I can every day, but there's not a lot more I can do than that. I figure that's a, that's a decent thing to put up there for a dream uh, because I do want to, I want. I mean, I would like the channel to be growing. I think we're going to hit 2000 by the end of 2017. I think that's, I think that's very, very doable the way things are going, but uh, 10,000 seems pretty outrageous. So maybe by the end of this season, that'll be the dream. You'll just be like, oh, it's out there like a carrot waving in the wind on the end of a stick, just out of reach, always just out of reach. Anyways, we got to go to cut that. We gotta go to Versailles. So let's go to Versailles. Does running through the metro count? One, oh wait, no, 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 no. I do feel a little bit better today. I feel like well, at least I have, you know, three months. <laughs> but it does feel like a step in the right direction. And I think ultimately, what I really need to do is just live like I'm here. One of the things I realized the last couple days is that I have really been living like I might not be able to stay. I've been very much living in limbo. And I haven't really taken advantage of being here quite to the same level that I could have. But also, yeah, I've just been hunkered down and been just kind of hemmed in by stress. And I'm going to stop doing that. My goal is really to just live here like I'm going to be able to stay here. Do everything I can. Yeah, and just take full advantage of being here and if I get kicked out in three or six months at least I'll have had a good year living in Paris right so let's do that and that also leads me to think about okay well what is it that I want where do I want to go what do I want the future of life here to look like and that's kind of what I want to think through today so Basically, the goal in the short term is to get to a place where between random side jobs and projects, my art, whatever, that I get to a place where I can just basically work about part-time and dedicate the rest of my time towards writing specifically, as well as improving the vlog. Time is a huge issue, so that's the thing, is it's trying to come up with more time, and of course time is money, and money is time both ways as well, so that makes it a bit of a challenge, but I want to get to a place where I can spend more time writing and traveling. So maybe just packing up and going somewhere for two weeks, finding a nice spot to write and explore the area when I'm not writing, right? That would be awesome. So I've already expressed this before, but the three things that are most important to me that like the biggest goals or the drivers in my life are that I want to write and tell stories. I want to travel see the world and experience it as best I can. And then of course, eventually, hopefully find somebody to share that with. And yeah, I don't mean you guys, although I really love talking to you. My hope is that as I get established here and if I'm gonna just start living like I actually live here, which I, I think I need to do, I think it's gonna be the healthier option, then I'm gonna start taking advantage of the fact that I'm here. I wanna travel more within France and even travel internationally because it's really easy to do when you're here and everything's very, very short hop away. And in doing so, I'm trying to figure out a good way to, yeah, go somewhere and explore it for a week or two if I can, uh, or just a weekend trip even and then also build some more space in that to write and find some interesting and fun places to write from so that the vlog stays really fun and interesting because I'm exploring stuff, but it also builds that uh, space socially, if nothing else, for me to spend writing more because I really need to finish freaking Agnar's box, among others. Always sleepy. 
really see this place. And then I have somebody who decided to just keep riding uh, instead of stopping when we stopped for lunch. So now I get to ride around the canal looking for a lost tourist who could have taken any of these paths, really. <sighs> I'm hungry, and now I don't get a lunch break. That's not fun, but what is fun is changing my mentality to staying here, and that's good. My plan is to keep doing that, to keep like, all right, let's settle, let's do this. If I get kicked out later, fine, but I might as well take advantage of the fact that I'm here and make the most of it. <laughs> actually how dissatisfying things can get pretty quickly like just had a couple of uh, random time killing asides where people wandered off it doesn't big deal it's a really good group I really like this group actually they're really fun but it does kind of eat away your time and the reason it's a little bit dissatisfying is because now I don't get to share certain stories or information about the castle because we just don't have time it's the struggle of being on a schedule but a good group we're having a lot of fun these guys are really great lots of Australians today good old Aussies so there are a couple things to talk about here though as far as like strategy moving forward I gotta have a strategy for the next time I go into the prefecture to make sure that my case is even stronger part of that as a of you've noted in the comments is to continue to advance my applications and other things so getting my cart fatale will be huge getting my driver's license maybe and having like a little bit just being more established and having more accounts and everything else set up make it look better on that side making sure i look very french going in which is what i did this time so that i just don't stand out and then i think also securing more partnerships so getting some more french brands and offices whoever i can to be on board with the video making stuff that i'm doing in particular maybe even finding some sponsorships or brand deals within France specifically, just so that I have them signing off on me saying, we want this guy here, made a huge difference. If I walk in and I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, Renal wants me here, you know, as does the National Tourism Director or whatever, having those people signing off on me really make my case a lot stronger. I already have that one. Beer Tech is a really good spot to get a very good beer here in town. Jeff, this is where I would have taken you if you'd come to Versailles. I just gotta go there by myself, you jerk. The seal of Versailles. How do you, Phil, how do you say that in French? Le panneau, je ne sais pas. Le panneau, c'est le panneau? Le panneau de Versailles? Bien fait. Phil knows French, ladies and gentlemen. I surprised myself. I surprised. I, I'm, I, I, I'm also surprised. Like, yeah. I wasn't going to film too much in here, but now, but we're in the bureau tech. This, like I said, Jeff, this is you got to come here when you come to Versailles. Look at this. So this is not only this is the classy front section that's got like some hard liquors and so forth as well. But then look at all that beer back there, and that is the fridge from whence this came. Just throwing that out there. I'm only having one. Drink in moderation. Kids? I don't drink kids. I'm having two. <laughs> oh, he, Phil's having two. And maybe even a roadie. And he's got he's also got a giant one to share with his wife tomorrow, so he's a good husband. So the plan is to meet for a drink, I think, and then go climb. There she is. Bonjour. Oh, that's a interesting looking pizza. <laughs> Doing my French. Natasha and her boyfriend Fab are going to be going on a motorcycle, so I'm going to be taking the metro, which makes me jealous because I still miss having a motorcycle so much. Someday. That's one of the things I really want to have here, also so that I can travel out into the countryside with it. As much, if not more than anything. So we're going to go climb for a little bit. Not sure how much climbing I really should do considering the condition I'm in right now, but give it a try, it should be good. So moving forward, I wanna focus really heavily on really settling in here, taking advantage of what I have in front of me, seeing more of France. I need to see as much of France as possible. That's one of the big things, like doing a lot more regional travel, getting a little bit more comfortable in my apartment, like getting rid of some of the old furniture and putting in some new stuff as I can. 
just kind of phasing in and just really being here and being present. Really, really important. Obviously spending time with friends has been really good, making new friends, but also getting back into the writing. There's a lot to really reformulate and kind of figure out here. So I want to make sure that I do a good job of that. And I'm really, really looking forward to the next season. And I'm just going to move forward like I belong here. Because I think I do. And then we'll figure out the proving that I do as we go. But I think that, I think we'll figure it out. I just love living here. I love being here. I hope it works out. I can't wait for whatever's coming next. Like I've said, there's plenty of things to sort out, figure out as we go. But for now, let's just go climb some rocks. Close. I'm so out of shape. I've been climbing since I went climbing with my dad in Spokane like a year ago. That was a great night. I love, I really, really enjoy bouldering. I want to do it more. Dad and Karn, we definitely should have kept that up while I was still around, but maybe we'll get our chance here soon too. A lot of fun. Definitely want to come back and do more of that. But for now, I gotta go home and edit a vlog. This is the downside to the vlog life, social life. 